Punk Revolution now! Today we are going to be sorting Unwound's discography from worst to best, okay? So Unwound is a 90s post-hardcore band. They are one of my favorite bands of all time, and in my opinion, they are one of the best bands of all time, and they deserve more recognition for that because they are amazing. Their ability to perfectly capture the angst and depression and hopelessness and nihilism you'll find in punk music with really creative and powerful and experimental and pretty intellectual songwriting. I mean, that's an amazing combination and no one does it better than Unwound. And you, you, you take the fact that these are some of the most talented musicians you'll ever hear. The guitarist is fucking amazing. The bass playing is amazing. And the drumming is amazing. These are, every band member here is outstanding. It's so interesting to listen to. And then you just take into consideration that their whole discography is extremely consistent. They got plenty of awesome music. To me, it just all adds up to logically say, this is one of the best rock bands of all time. I fucking love Unwound. So let's go ahead and get this started. Let's, let's start with their least good album, which is still amazing. In my opinion, Unwound's worst album is their self-titled, which is still a fucking awesome album. This is early Unwound. This is their first album they ever recorded together. It, 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 you can definitely hear they've got a lot of passion and a lot of angst coming through that, we, that that's, that's so lovable. We're definitely going to hear throughout their discography. Really creative, atonal, noisy guitar riffs, which are so unique and so awesome. Really wonderful stuff. And there's just so much, like I said, so much passion and so much emotion here. It reminds me of actually like emo core, like Rites of Spring, but in the noisiness and angstiness, I'm certainly picking up a little bit of like Bleach era Nirvana. I wouldn't be surprised if... Unwound was influenced by Nirvana because they're both from Washington and kind of like a similar era. So probably influenced from Nirvana too. It all comes together in a really unique, creative, hardcore, emo core record that, you know, it, it, it lacks the dynamics and the creativity of their later albums, but you can certainly hear some really awesome stuff coming through here. It's still a fucking amazing album, even though it's Unwound's least impressive. The next album on my list is The Future of What. By the time Unwound released this album, they have already, you know, they're, they're a little bit further into discography. They've already solidified that, that, that essential sound to Unwound that makes Unwound unique, that makes Unwound special. They've got these amazing bass lines that are just so fucking repetitive and hypnotic and just so like fun to listen to, so stimulating. Well, on top of that, there's just waves of these noisy guitars just and it's like, whoa, it fucks your brain. And then there's the vocals, which are just yelling on top of it. And then there's the insanely sick drumming. They've, they've, they've got that really sick formula down here really well. They got some amazing songs on here like Swan. It's amazing. Although I will not put it as high on this list as their other albums because there's a little bit of dicking around here and there with like some droniness and noise and experimentations, which is fun and fine, but there aren't really enough high points on this album compared to their other albums that kind of like justify the amount of dicking around that goes on here, but it's still really solid and it's still unwound, demonstrating how fucking amazing they are. You really can't go wrong with Unwound. That includes this album. It's sick. Let's move on to the next album. Next up on my list is Challenged for a Civilized Society, which is a fucking amazing album. This album is so cool. You got so much cool stuff in here. You got, you got really memorable, awesome songs, like Laugh Track. I mean, that riff is just like gonna stick with you forever. It's so weird. It's like... It's like, what the fuck was that? I don't know, but it's fucking sick. Really dissonant and crazy. I mean, just the album title itself. Challenge for a civilized society. You can tell that's some like intellectual bullshit going on. Lots of experimenting here. This is their second to last album, their album before Leaves Turn Inside You. It seems like they're kind of figuring, you know, playing around, exploring new sounds uh, that kind of are gonna help lead the way to Leaves Turn Inside You. Like I said, the future of what also is quite experimental, but frankly, I just like the, the, the experimentations in Challenge for a Civilized Society more, and I think the songwriting is overall a bit more memorable. So it's higher on my list. And it's fucking amazing, but believe it or not, Unwound actually has better albums. All right, everybody, we are now to the part of the list where it was very, very, very difficult for me to sort these because all the remaining albums on this list are fucking amazing. All of them could rightly be called their best, whatever, they're all amazing. But the next one on my list is Repetition, which is such a fucking sick album. They have amazing, amazing, catchy, wonderful, uh, just listen to the song Corpse Pose. Listen to that amazing bass line. It's like, it's like so simple, 
but it's so fast and exhilarating. It's like it's like the catchiest shit ever. It feels like I'm in a fucking rave or something, but it's like depressive post-hardcore. And there's just so much cool experimentation here. Listen to the song Lady Elect. That is a phenomenal song. Phenomenal. The way it builds up and builds, and then like the ending is just like orgasmic with the the the, the final melody that ends the song. It is just brilliant. It's so br this album is full of so much cool shit. I cannot tell you this. This honestly might be the best place to start with Unwound, honestly, because it's it's pretty accessible too. It's fucking sick. The next album on my list is Fake Train, which is absolutely phenomenal. This is Unwound's second studio album, uh, and what basically happens here is they take the the angst and anger and aggression and noisiness and kind of harshness of their self-titled album Unwound. And they just infuse a lot more ambition, trying new things here, experimenting, branching out. We're talking like a lot of ambition, like a 14 minute song in the middle of the album Ambition, which is Valentine card slash, I don't know, it has a long title. It's the fourth track on this album. It's amazing, it's one of their best songs. And these songs are incredibly dynamic, both musically and emotionally, okay? We're having, we're gonna find moments here that are just so full of rage and aggression, just exploding in your face, so loud, like just, just so hardcore. This is some of Unwound's most angry music. But then there's gonna be like these moments where there's like these like kind of sonic youthy, gorgeous breakdowns with these absolutely beautiful riffs that just like, just tug at your heartstrings, makes you wanna cry, it's so beautiful. It's like, what, it's a fucking emotional roller coaster. It's absolutely sick. If you want some post-hardcore that's a little bit rough around the edges, this is, this is Unwound's one of their more aggressive albums. If you want something that's a little bit rough, but also showcasing how intellectual and creative and powerful Unwound songwriting is, this is a fantastic place to start with Unwound. You gotta check it out. It's a fucking masterpiece. Let's move on to the next album. Next up is New Plastic Ideas, which is so fucking amazing. It is so close to being their number one best album. It's literally the second best. I actually put this album on my list of 100 best albums of all time. It's so amazing, because what they basically did was they took the dynamics and the powerful songwriting that makes Fake Train so good, and they just kind of trimmed the fat a little bit, cleaned it up a bit, made these songs a little bit more concise, It made the whole album a little bit more consistent. And what they've done here is just make the, the, these, every single song here is just a fantastic, wonderful achievement that just, it just feels like a trudge. Like every single guitar strum is just played with so much emotion and so much power that just builds and swells and builds and then boom, it's so fucking epic. These, it's just like, it just feels like there's so much purpose behind every single note played in this album. It is so powerful. It, it, it just, it feels like, it like so gray and depressive and heavy. Like I, like I can only describe it like a, you're trudging through the snow on your way to work. It's just so, it's really, it's really heavy. And I think the fact that it feels kind of like a trudge is and what, in my opinion, makes it a fucking masterpiece, but I think it also makes it a kind of a challenging and hard to listen to album because it's just so, like, it's just so, it's just so, it's like, it's like so dense, it's so rich, it's just so fucking packed with so much creativity, it's, it's, it, take, it takes a while for your brain to digest it. It's so amazing. It's, an, it's a wonderful achievement in noise rock, a wonderful achievement in post-hardcore, you gotta check this album out, and if you don't like it, give it some more time because it's that good. It deserves some re-listens to help you kind of figure it out because it's fucking amazing. And Unwound's best album is Leaves Turn Inside You, their final album. I highly recommend you check this album out as the first place to start with them because it's just frankly their best. It's their best and you're most likely gonna like it. It showcases everything that's so wonderful about Unwound from the insane dynamics that are so powerful with the powerful post-rocky songwriting to the incredibly infectious riffage that is so, you know, catchy and gonna get in your head forever and the, the experimentation that is so creative and clever that we all love when we see from Unwound. It covers all that ground. I have already, I've already reviewed this album if you wanna hear my, or more of my thoughts on it. Uh, I'll put that somewhere in the description or something if you wanna watch it. But it's fucking sick. Masterpiece. I put it as one of the best albums of all time on my list as I think like number 12 or something. Fucking sick. Please check this album out. Please check this album out. If you don't like it, try something else, but Unwound is amazing. And this album captures pretty much everything that's so amazing about Unwound. Um, but you should still listen to other un Unwound albums besides this one too. So that's all I gotta say. Um, I hope you like this video. Let me know if you liked videos like this or if you want more reviews or whatever. I don't know. Just let me know. But uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. Click and like and all that shit really actually helps my channel. 
uh, get more subscribers and etc. Which is a very important, honestly, because we want Punk Revolution, if I'm being entirely honest. You know, that's just how it is. But thank you for watching, everyone. Unwound is fucking amazing. One of the best bands of all time. Go fucking, let's go fucking, fucking, fuck to this fucking music. Just kidding. Bye. Punk Revolution out. Bye. <laughs>